fired up. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, here comes number one, Luke Fletcher. He's got that number one rating because he took down the previous number one, Dom Demas. Dom Demas is an Ohio product right here from Central Ohio, wrestling at Oklahoma with an inside trip that will take down most. Yeah, he, this today he pinned uh, Chad Red early. That. Beautiful throw. And Luke Fletcher just is as solid a wrestler as they come. Good leg attacks, great short offense, tough in all positions. And Real Woods going to have his hands full here as Fletcher pu uh, punishes mistakes. And uh, Woods, you're probably going to see him try to get to a control tie. Likes to work two on one to Fletcher's right arm. We'll see if he's able to get to it as Fletcher's a really sound hand fighter and holds great position. He certainly does, and in his career at 133 pounds over the past couple of years where he was uh, twice an All-American, he made a habit, he made a career of winning low-scoring, close matches that he maintained control. What we've seen so far this year at 141 pounds, which is where he was as a freshman, is a different type of wrestling. Now, Woods is in on that tight tie as you were talking about, but we've seen Pletcher wrestle from space and cover a lot of ground with shots, so it'll be interesting to see how he reacts because Wood... According to Jason Borelli, the head coach for Stanford, is the toughest kid in the room. Just a brawler. Yeah, that's not surprising to learn. And Pletcher's, Pletcher's speed is underrated. And his finishing, he does a great job when he gets underneath guys. You know, every coach shows you get a high crotch, you lift and double off. He's one of the, the few guys that can actually do that. He gets both feet off the mat and is able to finish really well. Well, for Ohio State, what we've seen so far is two diametrically opposed body styles. Quinn Kinner, as we talk about making the cut down to 133, is long and lean, and Pletcher is, is just a fire plug. He's got big, thick legs and hips, uses them to his advantage, really good power, tremendous quickness as well. Ohio State going in the black singlets with the red and white stripe around the thigh. Stanford in the red singlets coming all the way across the country to wrestle here. Calculated start from both. Not a real committed leg attack from, from either guy. Woods is a lefty single leg. A lot of fakes from space there, but he's, he's given up a lot of space as Woods. But now pressure back in. Now under double underhooks for real Woods. Can he use them? He's got him locked going for the trip. Oh, and double now, overs. Well, that's, that's the adjustment. Now we'll see if we can get the lift. Pletcher bringing Woods back onto the mat. Boy, just a little bit too extended. He wanted to fire those hips in. Boy, now we got upper body here again at the edge of the mat. That can often bring fireworks, but not this time. Great exchange, um, great recovery from Woods. As it looked like Pletcher took those overhooks and was at least being able to run behind for two, but good recovery there. And, you know, normally Pletcher finishes there standing single, had that foot up high, but good recovery there as Woods now goes lefty underhook for a moment, cleared out by Pletcher, 30 to go in the first. Interesting matchup here from an experiential standpoint as well because Pletcher has, though he did not have a red shirt year, he has been through the wars. And, and Woods is a red shirt freshman. Uh, you see Pletcher never seems to get into a panic mode, and you wonder as this match goes along if that experience is going to play a factor. Down to under five seconds to go in the first. Just that real one flurry in exchange where both had a scoring opportunity, but neither comes away with it. So Pletcher going to defer choice to Woods, who's going to go underneath. And this is often a big test for freshmen. How can you get away from underneath? And someone like Luke Pletcher not going to be uh, given any free escapes. No, he's got good turns. Not known particularly as a... Uh, as a tremendously hard rider, Pletcher. Good job by Woods, up and out. Gets to that sit, got hands, turns and cuts. 1-0 for Real Woods. Passing the first test is a Stanford freshman. He had a solid redshirt year a year ago, made the Southern Scuffle Finals, uh, typically one of the toughest tournaments in the country. Well, and as you said, and it, folks that uh, didn't get a chance that's to see your boy, that's nice. But nicely done there with the... The overhook wizard now, Woods, stays away near the out-of-bounds line. You have to keep wrestling there. You're going to get hit with a stall. Good action call there. Um, Double-legged him out of bounds, and Woods was fighting to get back in. So you'll see an action or a stall warning on either guy anytime they go out of bounds. So that time the official deemed it action. So no warning for either guy. 
But back to your interview with him, I, you made a great point there. The confidence is is just really there, and it's it's under the surface, I'm sure, but at the surface as well. He feels like he belongs in this match, and for the first now four minutes, he has shown that to be the case. Wood's not bad from the top position in his own right. He likes to get wrists and turns. It's just it's so rare you've seen uh, someone of Pletcher's caliber get turned. But it has happened to him before. You know, it happened to him uh, here against Stevan Micic. Yes, indeed. That was a, you know, the win for Stevan wasn't surprising. How he won, I think, really turned a lot of heads. There's another shot. Good circle in there by Woods as he was looking for a go behind. Now they're on the edge. 20 seconds to go here in the second period. Woods on top by one to nothing score. Only 10 seconds of riding time for Pletcher. And now this is a situation where Pletcher needs to make sure that the action stays moving so he doesn't get hit for a stall as well. He's yeah. circling right, then left, and still centered up. Look at that hard left from Woods. Well, that certainly is a guy that spent time in a room with a lot of very strong partners. Banging. Fletcher with choice now. And again, over the years, you know, we've, we've seen wrestlers for Ohio State that have had trouble getting off the bottom. And you, when you're talking about like a like a Micah Jordan who is so good on his feet and tough on top and against elite wrestlers sometimes had trouble getting off the bottom. That's not necessarily been the case for Fletcher, but there have been a couple of situations where that has been, I guess if you want to call it a chink in the armor, that could be it. So you you know, at this level against so many good guys, it's, there's nothing but nits to pick. These guys That's are all exactly so good. exactly right. He's up to his feet. Good position here. Turns, and he's away. 1-1. One, one, riding time, not a factor. 148 to go in the third. So they both escaped in essentially the same amount of time. They've given three seconds of riding time for Woods. Looks like this one will be settled on the feet. I would say to this point, there's not been a ton of offensive full-on attacks, but Pletcher has had a couple of shot attempts. Woods has done a great job countering. Of course, Woods had the the big tie earlier, tried to turn it into points, and Pletcher countered near the out-of-bounds line. Nobody scored. Minute 10 to go, even up and one apiece. Back to that underhook for Woods, but cleared out by Pletcher. We saw at the Michigan State Open and during the wrestle-off here with Kenner that Pletcher has been opening things up, but he is very comfortable wrestling in a tie match or a one-point match. There's a shot. Now chin and arm position here for Pletcher. Woods does a good job clearing out. Now again near the out-of-bounds and the action signal properly made. Good flurry attack there by Woods, catching that cow catcher position is Pletcher but Woods he's got to have some real strength there where yes. he's able to clear out without giving up any points 30 to go now now down to crunch time and Woods working that stutter fake trying to get a reaction out of Pletcher to set up that single hasn't happened yet well now with under 20 to go you get to the point of the match where Maybe the foot comes off the pedal a little bit, and both wrestlers say, okay, let's go to overtime and settle it with a takedown. Sometimes one guy will make that decision. The other will say, I don't think so. And he'll take his shot, and he can maybe come away with somebody napping, but not this time. So sudden victory. Takedown wins. Any point here will win it. Neither wrestler has been warned for stalling in this match, so that's not a factor right here. Got a minute on the clock. The referee says we're ready to go. Again, that stutter fake. And now oh, the ankle pick. Oh, ankle. boy, that's nice. Now, can he finish? Pletcher with the wizard. Nothing yet. Wizard. Good position here for Woods. Boy, Pletcher did a great job there to keep the hand off the thigh. What a and now into roll. a dive and scramble. And now Pletcher certainly... Is not in a great position to score, but trying to hold on for a stalemate, if nothing else. He's got to watch the danger position as he rolls towards his back. He's yes, in a good indeed. position as long as he hangs onto that leg. But you got to be careful. You don't want to expose your back beyond 90. Now he's getting height. 
What a scramble here. Now he's in position. Now Pletcher with the high leg. With a trip and the takedown. Luke Pletcher with the score and the two for the Buckeyes. What a match. It lived up to the billing. Real Woods came within a hair's breadth of taking down number one in the opening of the Cavelli Center, and a great adjustment for Pletcher for the takedown. And we got a challenge here from Stanford, challenging the takedown. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. You're, now, you're talking about an eyelash one way or the other. And I go back again, Christian, as, as Woods started to come up with that, he had a hand on the thigh before we even got to this position. This is what we're going to have the argument about here, right there. Where was yeah. there... Quasi Merkel position. Yes, there. indeed. That that could have been it. But when Pletcher was able to reach back and get hand to hand and get Woods off his thigh, that was the difference, I think, between Woods finishing and not that winning takedown. Yeah, you don't see the the dive roll funk passes. You don't see him quite as much as as you did maybe I don't yes, know, ten, ten years ago. But man. Um, that was as, as money as they come, and for him to be able to come up and potentially finish, and, you know, ward off a, a really tough, and I think we knew Real was going to be in this match. How competitive he was going to make it, we, we weren't sure, but, man, what a, what a performance by by him just to make it this this much of a question. And, and who knows what they're even looking at here. There's a lot. Are they saying maybe this wasn't two? Because, you know, it's kind of a weird finishing position. I think it's two, but. that's um, yeah, that To me, that's a takedown. Yeah. The hands on the ground. Pletcher's behind the hips, and maybe that is it. It looked very momentarily, as we saw the first replay, that maybe they were thinking that's the takedown. Woods had the takedown at that moment. They're both in the center. <laughs> Woods is ready to start things up. Yeah. Well, what a great match. And let's, let's go back to where that started with that ankle pick. Yeah. I mean, you perfect. want to talk about lightning quick. Woods getting down to that ankle, something that you know, he, he had faked, he had faked, hadn't really taken a shot. So to show Pletcher something that he hadn't seen before momentarily caught him off guard. Yeah, beautiful low level there by, by Real Woods. And, you know, it was a good job by Pletcher able to get to the wizard and then kind of had that seatbelt position and figure out a way to make a scramble here's, happen. Here's there the it ankle is. pick. Right there, just to keep it. And if we, I don't know if we can keep this rolling or not. We're going to get an announcement here. Takedown and stands. The takedown stands. So Pletcher comes away with the victory. A match again that lived up to the billing as possibly our match of the night. Well, what we know for sure here is that Luke Pletcher wins this match, but Real Woods is a real player. Yeah, he announced himself. It's established.